Houston is a large metropolis in Texas, extending the Galveston Bay. If you are looking for shopping, dining, culture, unique attractions, and fun experiences, you'll find no shortage of things to do in Houston. It is the fourth largest city in the United States and home to the famous Space Center, renowned chefs, inspiring museums, and beautiful green spaces, complete with a bayou running through the heart of the city. Depending on your travel dates, you may even be able to take in a sports game or enjoy Houston's signature event, the Livestock Show and Rodeo. It has many restaurants that dot the city, offering you some of the best of Tex-Mex cuisine, a variation of delicious steaks, crunchy tacos, and spicy fajitas, offering you a fiesta in your mouth. Houston makes a great place to visit for a weekend getaway, with direct flights from all over North America. Combine a trip to Houston with a visit to nearby Galveston, less than an hour away, for a mix of big city and island life. This video of Travel Guide to Houston can help you plan your trip to coolest destinations in the city. For a complete look at things to do, watch our complete video of top attractions in Houston. Before we get started, make sure you have subscribed our YouTube channel and click the bell icon so you don't miss our new upcoming videos. Number 1. Houston Space Center The official visitor center of NASA Johnson Space Center and Space Center Houston opened in the year 1992. It has, ever since, been visited by large crowds that come to see the numerous permanent as well as traveling exhibits, space artifacts, films, live shows, and much more. From the visitor center, you can take an open-air tram tour to Johnson Space Center, home of Mission Control, to see where astronauts train for space missions. This tour also takes you to Rocket Park to see actual rockets on display. If you'd like to only visit the Rocket Park, there's no charge. To experience something truly unique, sign up for a Level 9 tour and enjoy a behind-the-scenes look at Johnson Space Center. Only 12 tickets are sold per day for this exclusive 4-5 to five hour tour. Tours begin at the Space Center Houston, which you are free to explore with the purchase of this ticket. Number 2. Waterwall Park The fountain and its surrounding park were built as an architectural amenity to the adjacent tower. Both the fountain and tower were designed by John Burgey Architects with Philip Johnson. The Waterwall Park showcases an impressive multi-story sculptural fountain that sees sheets of water cascading over large concrete walls and sculptures. The structure's semicircular shape towers 64 feet above you and is fronted by a large arch and 46,000 square feet of water. Photos don't do this attraction justice. It's something that needs to be seen to truly be appreciated. This 2.77-acre park, covered with dozens of live oaks, is located in Uptown Houston. Number 3. Houston Street Art Street art is visual art created in public locations for public visibility. It has been associated with the terms independent art, post-graffiti, neo-graffiti, and guerrilla art. While it is often overlooked by tourists, Houston street art, or what many people know as graffiti, is outstanding. Installations by some of the top names in street art throughout the U.S. and around the world can be found here. These colorful murals adorn the walls of establishments in various locations throughout the city and are well worth taking the time to drive around and see. The unofficial curator of Houston Street Art is the charismatic artist known as Gonzo 247. He is one of the city's most famous street artists and the creator of the giant. Houston is inspired mural at the corner of Travis and Preston Streets and the smaller Houston mural at Leland and St. Emanuel Streets. This latter area is also home to a large concentration of impressive installations that grace the walls of numerous one- and two-story buildings off Leland Street at Charter Street and St. Emanuel Street but works can be found scattered all over the city on walls of various sizes. Number 4. Buffalo Bayou Park Buffalo Bayou Park is a 2.3-mile-long municipal park located along the banks of the Buffalo Bayou near downtown Houston. With a total area of 160 acres, Buffalo Bayou Park stretches from Shepherd Drive to Sabine Street, between Allen Parkway and Memorial Drive. Opened in 2015, the park features a variety of recreational activities including a skate park, picnic area, children's play area, dog park, cultural events hall, and miles of bike and hiking trails. If you are looking for fun things to do in Houston, especially if you want to get outdoors, rent a kayak, canoe, or stand up paddleboard and enjoy a paddle along the bayou. Rentals are available at the park and various tours are offered, ranging from one to three hours in length. Similarly, Guided cycling tours are also available from outfitters in the city. A particularly unique site in Buffalo Bayou Park is the cistern, 
an old underground drinking water reservoir from 1930, which now hosts changing art installations. Today, visitors can go on a short guided tour. Number 5. Day Trip to Galveston The lovely beautiful beaches of Galveston are less than an hour away from Houston. If you are looking for a quick break from the city, head out to Galveston for a little time soaking up the sun, wandering through the historic downtown, and dining at a seaside restaurant. Miles of endless beach and shallow, turquoise water stretch along the ocean front. At the heart of the beach action is Pleasure Pier. Other attractions to visit include the Ocean Star Offshore Drilling Rig and Museum, the Texas Seaport Museum, and the Strand Historic District. If you are traveling with the family, head to Moody Gardens. If you don't have your own car or want to keep things simple, you can also take an organized tour to the island. One option that combines some sightseeing in Houston is the Houston Sightseeing Tour and Galveston Day Trip. This includes a 90-minute double-decker bus tour of Houston and transportation to and from Galveston, where you'll have free time to explore on your own. Number 6. Livestock Show and Rodeo The Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo, also called Rodeo Houston, is the largest livestock exhibition and rodeo in the world. It includes one of the richest regular season professional rodeo events. It is a fun-filled, 19-day event that brings the whole city out to celebrate in February or March. If you are going to be here during this time, you are in luck. And if you are wondering when to visit Houston, this might be the time to plan your trip. This is an activity the whole family can enjoy. And it's so much more than just a rodeo and livestock show. If you only have one day to attend this fantastic show, spend a morning or afternoon wandering the grounds and enjoying the carnival, See some of the finest farm animals on display at the Livestock Show. Then take in a rodeo event or two to see the cowboys in action and spend the evening at a concert. Number 7. NRG Stadium NRG Stadium, formerly Reliant Stadium, is a multi-purpose stadium in Houston. It was constructed at a cost of $352 million and has a seating capacity of 72,000. The stadium was designed by the architectural firms of Hermes, Reed Architects and Lockwood, Andrews, and Newnham, who were teamed to create the Houston Stadium Consultants. The architects of Populous and the Houston Stadium Consultants worked together with engineers from Walter P. Moore and Unisystems to design the stadium, utilizing the principles of kinetic architecture. The facility offers a sense of transparency, with its fabric roof and expansive areas of glazing. At night, the building appears to glow from within. The extensive use of glass provides an open-air feel to the concourses, which are open to the field of play. Stadium has over 7,000 club seats, 186 luxury suites, and multiple lounges and bars. When it comes to seeing a game in Houston, sports fans have plenty of options, and whether it's football, baseball, basketball, or soccer, the city takes its sports seriously. Houston is home to the Houston Texans, the Houston Astros, and the Houston Rockets. The Texans play at the NRG Stadium. The Toyota Center in downtown Houston is home to the Rockets, and the Astros play at Minute Maid Park, also in the city center. BN, there's a good chance of at least one of these teams having a home game during your stay. Number 8. Rice University Campus William Marsh Rice University is a private research university in Houston. Opened in 1912 after the murder of its namesake William Marsh Rice, Rice is a research university with an undergraduate focus. Its emphasis on education is demonstrated by a small student body and six ratio one student faculty ratio. The university has a very high level of research activity, with $156 million in sponsored research funding in 2019. Rice is noted for its applied science programs in the fields of artificial hard research, structural chemical analysis, signal processing, space science, and nanotechnology. The Rice University campus is an oasis in downtown Houston and a favorite outdoor space for many Houstonians. Walking and running trails, thousands of mature trees, and lovely old buildings are spread over this 300-acre campus. Also on the grounds are a large number of impressive contemporary artworks that lend to the tranquil atmosphere. Many of these installations are equally, or even more, impressive in the evening when they are lit. Number 9. Shopping in Houston For vintage clothing, retro decor, and old collectibles, Nintine Street and the Heights is the place to go. This funky area has all kinds of quirky shops, selling everything from evening gowns to casual clothing, as well as jewelry, footwear, household gadgets, and all kinds of unique items. This is also a good place to shop for gifts. The merchandise is not all vintage. Some places sell new pieces or a mix of new and old. 
Even if you are not looking to buy anything, the whole area is worth seeing and offers a one-of-a-kind shopping experience.